Hi everybody. So here we have a mysterious gypsy moth from Sulawesi, family Limantridae. And what's interesting is that nobody managed to ID this species at all. And I managed to get uh, caterpillars of this species to rear. And they seem to eat literally everything I give them. Everything. I've never seen such a polyphagous insect. And uh, I'll show you how I'm rearing them. This is my cherry tree, as you can see. There's cherries on it already. And what I did is I put all the larvae inside of a bag. Here it is. Let's put you back. See, all of them are in here. Here's a few of them. So what do I do when I want to close it? Is I put it like this. Actually, I need two hands to do this. Oh, wait, maybe not. See? Ta-da! And we can close it. And now they, they have no chance to escape. If we put this here. Hang on one second. See? Do this. One second please, I'm going to close it now. So there we go, as you can see. It's very tight and they have no chance to escape. And the host plant remains fresh like this. I don't have to clean them out or change the food every day because they are just in here on the plant that is alive and they are feeding themselves there's a lot of them in here but they of course are difficult to film inside the bag this is why I took one out to show you seem to be doing very well, let's check them up a bit maybe we'll see a few of them uh, walk around should be a lot of them in here there we go now we'll see a lot of activity. And I really would like to ID this species. And I think I'm going to contact an expert when they are adult moths. To uh, see uh, what the expert has to say about it. Because I really want to ID them down to species level. I don't think it's a new species by the way. But it's a species that's difficult to ID. Because from this family there are many many species of moths who all look similar. And from uh, areas that are like in Indonesia, like Sulawesi, well, not a lot of people, uh, not a lot of people study um, these tiny moths in these tropical areas where there are thousands of them. As you can see, you can see a few of them walking here. So yeah, that's why we're going to need an expert on this one. But I'll let you know as soon as uh, they have pupated. And become adults and of course I'll be showing it on my YouTube channel so thank you for watching again and stay tuned for more entomological news